Hey guys, so um, today I have a quick tip video, and uh, this is actually going to be the first of an official series. I know I've posted a few before, but this is where it's going to start. And uh, today my quick tip is, um, actually also I'm going to post one every week, so you guys can look forward to that. But um, today my quick tip is, don't use Quest Helper. Quest Helper ruins the entire game. And I actually just learned this a few days ago. So if you go um, into your options by pushing escape, or you can push on your spellbook and go down to the options button, and then go to here, gameplay options, or yeah, gameplay options, it says Quest Helper, and you can just turn it off. And the reason you want to do that, and I'm going to tell you right now, is because I have this quest where I had to go to the labyrinth. And so I'm standing in the common area of Dragon Spire because that's where this is all taking place. And I'm like, where is the labyrinth? I've never heard of that before. And partly is because I've never been to it, but partly is because I'm not really paying attention to the um, spots on the map. So um, I'm just going to get on a faster mount right now. And so um, basically... What if you want to go to a boss and it says go to Necropolis and you're standing there like where on earth is that or what streets go off of that and you have no idea. So if you open your map you can actually find the Necropolis and know that that's where you have to go. And then from there I have to go to the labyrinth like I said so from there you can open your map and go oh there's the labyrinth and then actually just use your map and figure out which way you need to go and which way is the wrong way to go and um... because <clears throat> then you stop relying on the bottom of your screen you stop staring at your arrow you actually know where you are and that way way later when you're like oh that was a fun boss or that was a fun dungeon i want to do it again you can actually find it without having a little little yellow arrow helping you everywhere you go so that way like i just found it i marked it because um... i don't know i might die in this dungeon <laughs> So um, I found it, and now I know, oh, if you go to the common area of Dragon Spire, and you go through Necro Necropolis, and then you take this road, and you get to the labyrinth. <clears throat> so it's actually very helpful, and when I was in Mushu, I used my arrow the whole time, and that was just really bad, because then I had to go somewhere and repeat something, and I had no idea how to get there. It was like, oh, go to so-and-so. It's like, it'd be like if somebody told me to go to the Crucible, be like, where on earth is that? I see the Anthium and Necropolis. Where is the Crucible? And the Crucible is in Necropolis, and I wouldn't have known that unless I would be paying attention. So it's just way easier. It makes the game way better. You stop relying on your arrow if you actually find stuff yourself, and if you find yourself getting lost, then go ahead and turn it on, but it just makes the game more fun, and it makes you know where you actually are better and know your bearings. Like, when I first started playing, like, I first started playing two years ago, and then my account got shut off. I was in Wizard City, and they didn't really have the quest arrow, I don't think. <clears throat> and, I don't know, they might have, but regardless, mine wasn't on. So, if you ask me, oh, how do I get to Triton Avenue, I instantly know, oh, you are in Wizard City, you go to the Commons, which is the main area, you go to Old Town, through the shopping district, and then you go to Triton Avenue, it's one of the three tunnels. And I instantly know where every single thing is. Oh, how do you get to Colossus Boulevard? You go to the Commons, you go to the shopping district, and it's a tunnel off of that. And that's just nice to know, because if somebody asked me, where's Jade Oni and Mushu, I'd be like, I have no idea. Like, it's in some road down some street in some area, and there's a gazebo, and I don't really know. So anyway, now if somebody's like, oh, where's the labyrinth? I know, and I can tell them. So I'm going to start turning off my quest helper, and my tip for you guys is that you turn off yours as well, so that you remember where bosses are, you know where you are, you know how you're getting there, and all that stuff, and it just, and then you can actually look at the scenery more, and it just makes the game more fun when you're not staring at the bottom of your screen. So anyway, that has been my um, quick tip for the day, and I will have, for the week, and I'll have one next week as well. So, um... Look forward to that. I just noticed that my Alphan blinks his eyes. That's kind of cool. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and if you haven't seen, I am also back. I've been gone from posting videos for a few weeks, but I'm back, and I'm going to stay here. So, that is my quick, quick tip video for the week, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll have another one next week. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.